Hey gals and guys, this is Christopher Mosier from MyMediaHelper.com and today uh, we're going to take a look at this TV that I just picked up and I'll show you in just a moment. Really more importantly, um, we're going to put these things on it. So these are so you can put it on a uh, stand instead of hanging it on the wall because um, there's really no place to hang it on the wall um, and we don't particularly want it on the wall. So we're going to try to install those things. Here this thing is and uh, we'll take a look inside. There's the... I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> you can see the top of it. There's the TV right there. <clears throat> I just picked up at the Walmarts. At the Walmarts at 6 a.m. in the morning because the eclipse is coming tomorrow and I didn't know what kind of traffic was going to happen there. So, and then I picked this up as well at the Walmarts. And I'll have links of all this stuff down below there. So, uh, yeah, let's get this open and. See, see what we can screw up. <laughs> I don't know if the TV's too big. I'm kind of nervous as to the fact that, okay, is that too big or not? And I'm not sure my glasses disappear too. So uh, here's the destructions. And what do we do with the destructions in every video? Uh, it's kind of heavy. This is pretty heavy. There's a pole. So this is supposed to... Um, be able to hold 35 inch to 70 inch televisions up to uh, oh, 37 to 70. And I forgot the poundage. I think it was 70 pounds. We'll look at the poundage. So it comes with all these lovely screws. So I'm going to have to do this piecemeal, meaning that I've never put one of these together. So I'm going to have you'll have some edits while I figure out which uh, which pieces go together. But we'll start out. So you'll have these two pieces right here. So this is the one that will go down on your stand. And then this one will hold hold up like this. So you're gonna see, um, you're gonna see left on these. There's left on these, and then I got right over here. And I did use the instructions, I was just kidding about that. So we'll tell you what screws to use and everything. And everything's labeled. So um, should be fairly easy. <laughs> Famous lost words. All right, so the first thing uh, you get is this bag here. You got your Allen wrench and you have these D screws, these six by eight millimeter screws. So let's get these out. And then we'll get these screws out. And this all came in one, one bag. I'm gonna assume they're all the same, right? It would make sense. All right, so we're gonna get these out. Now, I would keep these bags handy and around or label your screws. Um, just so you don't get them messed up. I'm not sure how many go on what. And so if we just go here to the destructions, so it says, um, so it says D times four. So it says four screws, D times four. I guess that means two on either side. All right, so. So in pure Christopher Mosier style, I did it every way except the right way. <laughs> but uh, here we go. This is what it's supposed to look like. Um, both ends like this, and it does screw in. So I will do this is the left one, and I'll do the right one correctly, I think. <laughs> I think I'll do the left one correctly. All right, so you've got, got this part and then these parts. Um, I don't know how you exp would explain them. They got the lips here, right here. And I need two more screws. So it goes right inside here. So you're going inside, and it's really kind of difficult because I have really big hands um, to get the first one started. Uh, you lose screws. Get other screws here. It's right. very difficult for me. You know, it's a strange place to put this, but who am I to say? I'm not an engineer, as you can tell. <laughs> okay. There's that other screw. It's underneath me somewhere. All right. So that screw's in there now. All right. I don't know if you can see that everything's black. It's right here. It's there. All right. And then I'm going to put the other one right here. Do, 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 do. That's why I kind of do these this way. Even I do my, I keep my screw ups in in the edit, just because you'll probably um, do something wrong too. 
and then um, you'll learn hopefully from my mistakes and um, actually you won't do anything wrong because you're going to learn from my mistakes and uh, you're going to be perfect. So that's what I got to say about that. So let's make sure it's lined up correctly and let's give it another go. As you can see, it's very difficult for my big hands. So get someone with little hands. Find someone with little hands. All right, I think we're going. All right, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. I'm not going to tighten it too much. I mean, make it snug, but you never know. Um, get the thing in there. There we go. All right. All right, so we got our left and we got our right. So if I'm looking at it, we got our left and we got our right. All right, so far so good. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can find the screw. Oh, there it is. And of course I threw it across the room. All right, and then you got these. So you got two of these two, make sure it says left and it will say left someplace. It says left right here on the outside. And then I got my left right here. Yep. And there's only one place it can really go, and that's right here. So we're using the same screws this time. I think they give you all these screws um, on the basis of what television you have. I don't think you have to use all these screws because it doesn't make any sense, right? So um, hold it the best I can. Get that it's Ooh, in there. Trying to catch it. Oh, it's difficult for me with these big hands. There goes that screw. So definitely do this like on a flat surface. Don't be doing it like I'm doing it like a bonehead. Subscribe to my channel so I can have a better place to do this shit. Up. And my big fingers in the way. If you, big, if you have big hands, my condolences. I think we caught it though. All right, the other one should be fairly easy. Do the best I can. And you can only do 180 degrees, or a little more than 180 degrees, which is a pain in the ass. Because you got to catch it and then do it. So. Caught the first time around. Huh. It's lined up. It's just not going in very easily. And now we caught it. So once you catch it, it's okay. It's, even if you have it lined up and everything. All right, there's the other one. So we got our right and our left, or our left and our right, whatever you want to call it. There's four screws in the back of this TV, so I'm going to take them out. I already took one out. And that's where your um, stand is going to go. I'm just going to get all those four of those screws out. Um, these are little screws. I don't think that's going to cut it. That's for smaller TVs. Let's look at F2. Let's look at F3. Let's look at these other screws. I don't even think 
we need these screws. These are the screws from the TV. So let's try those. As soon as I can find my screwdriver. I'm going to use the washers though. I'm going to get the bigger washer because it's a bigger TV. Let's see how that works. Okay, that's perfect. And that's perfect. Okay. All right. That's where I want it to be, which is here is a good place. Screw back. So I'm just, again, I'm just using the screws uh, that came with the TV. And I'm not putting these in very tight right now until they're all in. And I'm happy with it. Um, at least for Vizio, which this is a Vizio TV, these line up great with what the bracket that we bought. Yeah, the washer's not lined up all that great, but no one's going to be looking at the back of the TV. So don't put them in too tight, and you don't want to put them in, I mean, you want them kind of loose to begin with, and then you'll tighten them up once you're happy with all four, but um, also you don't want to really tighten them up all together at the end, because if you ever need to take this thing off and they're tight, you might strip the screws. So you want them snug, but, and make sure they're, make sure they're straight, they're not crooked. If they start out crooked, just take them out and start again. Okay. I think we're good here. So I'm just, I'm just giving it, once it's, once it's snug, I'm just giving it a little, just a little, you know what I mean? <laughs> so this is snug, give it a little oomph. And this is snug, I give it a little oomph. All right, not too much oomph, because if you ever need to take it off, it's going to be a pain in the ass, and you're going to strip the screws, and then, you have a whole other uh, thing to do. All right, I'm gonna put this on the floor and show you what we've done. So that is extremely, let me grab my mic. This is extremely sturdy. Um, as you can see, um, I'm very, for less than 20 bucks, I am very surprised <laughs> how sturdy this is. It's very, they're very heavy and they're very strong and um, the TV is very light and uh, it works great, so. All right, so this has been completed, and I got it all set up. Here's the TV, and here's the stand in here. I can't really see. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, it's uh, it's pretty stable. And it ain't going nowhere. And for 17 18 bucks, well, plus tax and everything, I mean, that's pretty amazing to me um, that it works so well. And this is the stand. We had plywood on here before because of the last TV. We didn't have this. We had whatever came with the last TV. So it was too long. It was at the ends of the TV. Um, that's why I purchased that. Uh, so we can use that stand again. I'm very happy with it. It's very sturdy. Uh, that, that TV's not going anywhere. So I would highly, highly recommend it. Um, I didn't think it was going to work that good. So... Um, I am pleasant be surprised. So that's it, gals and guys. Um, if you could please subscribe as always and hit the like for updates. Hit the like for updates. Subscribe for updates. Hit the like because you like it. Hit the bell for updates. That's what that shit is. And then um, share if someone's getting a new TV or needs something like that. All right. I got to go take a shower. I stinky. I'll bug you later. See you.